Our next guest is the author of the book, Intervention. Mike Widmere joins us now to discuss his book and offer strategies for how, to, how schools can develop a plan to reduce the possibility of mass shootings. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. So your book has a lot of detail um, about you know, police and, and law enforcement. So what is your connection with that? Well, I spent 26 years with Tucson Police, and um, I retired as a sergeant. Mm -hmm. And I also spent uh, nine years in the U.S. Air Force as a, as a supervisor for military police. Uh, most of my career has been fixed around surveillance, undercover supervision, and things like that. So uh, the seven years that I spent in violent crime mixed with the time that I spent watching people when they didn't know I was watching them um, kind of gives me a little bit of an insight on what, how people act when they get ready to do these things. Okay. So what are some of the warning signs that you've discovered in your career? Well, the book itself is a fictional story to try to entertain you, to show you, you know, how, how they act before they do it and, and contemporary behavior and things like that. But some of the signs that, you, that are exhibited are excessive drug use, uh, excessive um, uh, in, in violence and in, in things that they're involved in, family problems, things like that, especially conflicts, a lot of conflict. And conflict sometimes undetected, sometimes they don't react to it. Mm -hmm. but conflict nonetheless. That's some of the things that you can watch for, yeah. And what are some of the ways that we can keep our children safe in school? Well, what I've been trying to explain to people from my experience is mm -hmm. that instead of arguing about gun control and instead of talking about how we're going to do uh, mental health situations and like that, we need to understand that those things aren't going to be resolved anytime soon. That's the first thing we have to do. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, is to start doing a sphere of things within the school systems that changes the way it's secured. Uh, it, I'll just put it bluntly. If, if you don't allow the shooter into the school until the cops get there, mm -hmm. he's not going to kill anyone. Okay. So basically it's a detection system mixed with prevention from getting inside and then once they're inside, um, making sure that they don't persist. And that involves arming the teachers, not having them carry them around with them at school, but having them available on the campus with uh, law enforcement training on how to use them in the event that something like this happens. I want to, this is obviously a very sensitive and mm -hmm. heavy topic, especially for parents that are sending their kids off to it school. Is. Now, I don't know if it's just been a media thing, but what has really caused almost the influx of school shootings? I mean, when I went to school, you didn't really hear about it, and now it just seems like it is happening more often. Well, if you read the book, and I hope you do, mm -hmm. anyway, uh, intervention talks about intervention being something that can be done by people other than law enforcement. Okay. In other words, a teacher intervenes, they still keep the kids safe. Okay, so uh, some, of the, some of the things that, uh, that we're doing right now are just not going to work because um, you're allowing people into the school. So what I've said in my book repeatedly is that if you get there before the shooting starts mm -hmm. and you're able to intervene, then you stand a chance of, of a, a mass shooting not taking place. And from where I stand, uh, that's much more important than making sure that a law enforcement officer is the one who does it. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe that doesn't completely answer that, but um, yeah, I, that's the point I want to get across, is that intervention doesn't have to be with law enforcement. It can be in a whole bunch of different levels. And you discuss revo um, response versus prevention. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, that's the biggest thing. Okay, so law enforcement officers all over the country don't get mad at me, all right? What I'm saying is I think the response is important, very important. It needs to be practiced, albeit I don't think we need to uh, put small grade ch school children through that drill. I think it should be teachers and law enforcement. And um, basically, response is something that's been practiced and practiced over and over again, and they've gotten really good at it. And they come in there and they look good. I mean, they got all their stuff together and they're, they're a formidable force. If you prevent it, they can come and take over the scene after somebody's intervened, and that's called prevention. And that, that's what I recommend. It's got to be prevented and not just allowed to respond. If you respond, what you're saying is, we can't protect you. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can't protect you. So let's get used to people responding after it's already started. And make no mistake about it, once the shooting starts, it's over. Right. And Mike, if people are interested in picking up a copy of your book, where can they go? Well, they can go to my website, and I think you were going to put it up there uh, for the book, uh, Intervention at Page Publishing. Or you can just go to Barnes & Noble. Uh, Amazon, Google Books, or eBooks, and you can uh, order it offline on a Kindle, or you can do it in paperback. 
Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us and congratulations on publishing a book. Thank you very much and thank you for having me. Absolutely. To find out more about intervention, you can visit publishing.com and search for Intervention by Mike, by Mike Widmere. You can also find the book on Amazon.com, Google, and the iBookstore. Up next, Bees of Courage is back with their biggest challenge yet. We'll tell you how to get involved right after these messages.